can't move them over, they're like a big stone. Alright, so a lot of times what I did, I, at one time I stepped away from my hand on his back and he moved. <laughs> That's all I really wanted. Just for him to move, because most of the only thing is just like this. It's like a big rock. <laughs> you know, like trying to work in there, yeah, yeah, can't do anything. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about, right? The turtle, right? Yeah. I need Mark, man. <laughs> That's the guy who does it. And you're like this. You can't even get your foot in here. You can't do anything. You just want to step off. Yeah. <laughs> get in, man. There's not much you can do. Until one day, I just said, you know what? I'm doing this. And start working. Then I say, oh, he starts to move. And then I tried to catch whatever he took out. And I started finding it. There's the easiest way to work against that. Now, whereas a jiu-jitsu person, if you're right up in the school of jiu-jitsu from day one, you're told now I'm going to go there. All right? But, trust me, the idea is different once you get out of here. You know? Even at the black belt level in Brazil, guys turn their backs to one another all the time. All the time. Because they're, they're suckering you so much. You know, you got things like this going on. Here's the big guy. Right? things like this from bottom position. I just turned my back to Alright? But turn my back on and screw it up. Same thing again. If I was here, I'm going to turn this. I just turned my back to him. I just came out. You know? You ain't in the zone. That's the point. You know? Because. When he catches a choke or anything, there ain't nothing stopping you from moving and avoiding the choke. You know, versus twirling, just staying in, you know, <laughs> entrenched. All right? You guys turn their backs all the time, especially at the higher level. You start turning their backs all the time. All right? Because, again, turn your backs a lot. You know? Well, he wants to choke you. Your fifth thinking he's going to choke you. That's your problem. All right, I'm not thinking about what he's going to do with me. I'm thinking about what I'm going to do with him. All right? Okay. Now, a lot of times I'll be in the position we've been here starting out. I'll turn down. We're going. I just turned, I just did the technique we did today. I turned my back to him. I was just kind of thinking fast, huh? You know? And even when you turn your back, he's got a hand in there for a choke. Alright. Just give you all the nice little and everything, right? It's nice, because you're there, you say, I got it. You come out and you go, ah. Get ready, you're going. Okay? You're turning back all the time. Guys turn it back all the time. Just in the beginning, kind of like a little pump. You step there. Okay? We're going to go through the previous technique again, just a few more times. Switch out. Go in there. Switch it up. Kick away. I'm staying mobile. Just take your time, okay? Can I roll them out? Go in the circle. All right, let's go, guys. I know. Alright, stop. Position that we were working on before, all right, from your knees, 
and from there we're going to summer. Chair is actually just one stand-up technique, okay? One idea that it's the same as escaping from the headlock and all the other stuff we've been doing. All right, stuff that works well with our key. And then, and then move on more dirty stuff. All right, uh, well, yeah. All right, before we're in here, with this technique, all right? We came out, first we'll be rolling. Everyone's okay with that, all right? We're gonna work now from this position without going into that arm lock. All right, just for some choke transitions and some setups. Okay, and some stuff you're working with your skirt. All right, so you guys watch this thing. All right, thank you. <laughs> From this position, when you want to float in around the person, okay, I don't know if you know it's from our little drill. What you want to do, you want to maintain control of the person. And you want to stay very close to their hip. You want your hip to be where their hip is. You always want to know what their hip is doing. Okay, because if that hip turns over slightly this way, it means he's going to turn into you. Okay, it means he starts to turn in towards me. You want to beat him to the other side, completely to the other side. You don't want to try to stay on this side and prevent his legs from coming in. Okay. And some quick things to help you roll across the body really quick. Okay, same thing can be done. Follow the right knee on my knee. Switch it like this. Okay, same thing is done. From here, go back. Let's work here working, and these guys will work. You do the same thing. Okay, and they can't keep track of you. Are you switching sides like? We're actually doing a stepping over. It's like very, very hard to detect. Okay, and very hard to time when I'm going to do it. Okay, I can do it whenever I want. All right? We're here working. Okay. I'm going to time to stop. I'm the other way. He's looking for you. Okay? <laughs> Same thing. We did it from his knee. All right? Stay here. You need yourself in full position. Okay? And I'm completely on the side. I don't have to fight position or position or anything like that, okay? Again, another thing you want to watch out, try not to put your arms too deep, okay? If you have to put your arms deep in here, have his wrist or something. Okay, because if you have his wrist, even when he rolls down, you can really lock him with it. I'm following him up on this side. Okay, because I have control of his wrist, it's a lot easier for me to Attack to the choke, or move for something else. So watch out, don't put your hand in deep here. All right, unless you got that collar. Very this way side. All right, just maintain control. Again now, we're gonna move into some chokes. First choke, all right, you're just pulling this down. Okay, again, not too deep, not too tight. If you feel he's gonna trap my hand, trap my hand. Just take it out, okay? And while he's reaching for that, I'm reaching for his hook up. All right, from here, open it up, take it. All right, once we got this position, we're gonna step over and fall to this side. Finishing our choke. Okay. Really easy stuff to do. Like that. Top of the shoulder. I like to put my foot down and behind the small of his back. This here. Behind the back of his head. Finishing the choke. While you're flying, you use this leg here for leverage. Push back and really crank on your choke. Okay, but again, once you're doing this choke and you go in, and he's trying to take the rope, go over with him. Stay behind him. Get behind. 
So can I get behind his back? Okay. Right. So can I get this behind here? Just hold the opposite look out. Okay, you do the job just as good. Make sure you get your leg up there. Okay, so this is gonna be important. You get this one down pat to be able to move into the other chokes. Roll in here, right? Put here. Whichever keeps you nice and glued to his hip. But when you start to choke, loosen out and then above his armpit. You can't choke from underneath right there. Alright? Some chokes work like this, but not this particular one. Okay? So we're my hand. And I was rolling the direction you're doing the choke. Alright, so you use your body weight. Alright, so you go in here. The other hand. Alright. Everybody around me, fit? Monkey dokey. Let's go. Okay. Transition on this chill. We're going here. Alright. Trying to pull this one out. Trying to get here. Alright. He's going to break the grip. Let's pull you over from the waist. All right. When the person pulls the lapel away, don't try to hold on to the gi. All right. Just loosen up your grip and slide it in deeper. Okay. Because when a person has a choke, one of the worst things you can do is pull your lapel. All right. Unless you get yanked out like a nice quick, like. All right. And he pulls my hand away. Smart guy. <laughs> All right. That's the next one. Okay. We go in. It's one of the worst things you can do. All right. So we're going, to, we're going through on that. He's going to go here, going for the choke, pulls it away. I'm still going, pulls my hand away. Let him pull away, scoop, and take it back. OK, if you have to. God, by this time, the lapel is nice and loose. He pulled it, and it's going to be deep. Right? If you even insist on still holding it, guys, don't fight too hard. Come in really deep, start from low down, and come up under his chin. Right? If he has a turtle there. I'm gonna try coming in from here. Just try coming in. Nice and high. Even if you have to cover up his own hand. And then take your time. You have to put his forehead on the floor. <laughs> Push it down. Okay? Well, a lot of times, this is one of my favorite fakes. I'm like coming in. Go. Just do that. Like normal. I'm coming here. I'm thick. Go. Oh, stop the jump. Come on. Yeah. They always play it there. They always play it there. I'm not gonna get my tap right off of this. All right, another time, I'll take my time. Again, you pull it in. <laughs> All right, it's the worst thing you do. Pull it, every time you pull it, my hand just gets a nice, stronger, deeper grip. And you know the best part is, if he was gonna pull it, he should pull it straight down. But they have this tendency of pulling it away as if they're gonna like, show you chest hair. All right, from here, your hand goes in really deep. It's like real good. And the choke is in very, very tight, okay? Now, I'm going here, tapping for my choke. I can't get my hand in. I do get it, he pulls the lapel away. Take this. The way you bring this back, use his momentum from pulling your hand back. All right, don't you should have to force his hand back. Why I just do it sometimes, over here. Quick, just shoot it between your legs, hook it up. If you can, you can pass off for that. Don't worry about it if you can't. <coughs> just take position. Again, get ready to lean back or get ready to roll around, all right? Now even if he jumps up and he starts to roll, when he takes control, take your lapel, okay? On this position here, and push him away. Just come back while you're on, <laughs> all right? And you finish your choke, all right? <coughs> but don't, don't worry about the roll part, guys. <laughs> all right? his opposite lapel. Okay, so the choke looks like this now. If you want to stay on the side, and just finish the choke from there. Okay. Right here you maintain control with your legs of the other arm. Alright, sure sneaking it works. It can be done really fast. It's a really fast paced maneuver. Okay. You'll be here working. And he's a fast paced fighter. You're a big fighter. This way. Oh, we're really fast. And from there, you're able to 
see mobile. It's a job, right? Now, if you want to, I can start attacking the other arm. Okay. Well, the choke's all there. And I'm not going to pull the choke until I feel it's easy to do so. Okay, my hand is just there. Now it's comfortable for me to do so. And I start to pull it. Okay, so you're still in. You just move, move like a bullet, man. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just keep moving. I know some of you guys watch me fight, but um, most of the fighters I, I notice myself when I watch tape, I move a lot. And even for my weight class, I move a lot. You know, I prefer mobility. If I can move fast, you know, if I'm going to, because my idea is always I'm going to find a bigger person. Okay, so I always want to do it the easiest way possible. All right, a lot of times, pulling chokes too early, a lot of times it makes you lose a choke. All right, he's here, you fight, don't fight with it. Let go, put your hand back in. Let go, put your hand back in. It's a lot easier that way, trust me. Right. No, it's bad time. Still pulling, doesn't get the message. You gotta do something else. Put your hand back in. But don't try to uh, rub it and bug heads with it. Okay? It's the easiest way to do it. Um, everyone's okay with this part? Alright, no problem. To get arm on one thing, you gotta keep your hip nice and close to his arm too. Yeah, they pull through. <laughs> it's a habit. It's his tendency to grab his lapel and I'm waiting for it. I bit him a bit. <laughs> he's pulling deeper. Alright? If he's pulling your his lapel, don't try to hold it. Don't try to pull his hand back. Alright, you're here, pull it away. Let it go. Pull it deeper. You'll feel it once you start doing it. Okay? I'll fall here. To do the arm lock, guys, press your L if you're pelvis against his armpit. Grab his wrist. Just pull it back. Doesn't matter which way his arm goes. Uh, his arm goes this way, bend it this way, side. That's how I get them to roll backwards. <laughs> okay. And here. Mm, rolling up here, man. Like, like, it's very hard for him to get away. Because I got arm, I got my hands all over his neck. It's, it's a real panicky situation. Okay? Everyone okay with it? Any questions? No problem? Let's go. We're in here. Work in, pull the chill up the door. I'm right here, locks me off if I take. Alright, on top of all that. Now from here, he's gonna, he's gonna start to go head up, or he's gonna start trying to turn in and all that stuff. Just keep your knee tucked in nice and tight underneath him. Okay, just prevent him from rolling over. Alright, by this time now, we're gonna start to attack the other side. Alright, can you see for him now? Is to try to get this arm? from between my legs, okay? Well, the reason why I keep this arm nice and tight is to keep this arm from getting around to the other side of my torso. But he wants to get it on this side, all right? So, practically, we're facing one another, all right? So we want to try to avoid that, all right? But while you're fighting and all that, and you feel he's starting to roll, and you don't want to roll, give him the feel that, okay, we're not gonna, I'm not gonna hold you there, buddy. So he's gonna back off. He's gonna start to pull head up. By this time, I've switched from attacking the far lapel to the other one. So his head comes up, he's gonna try turning towards me. By the time I get ready for him to turn to the opposite side. Okay? Let me turn from here. Choke so like this. Come across, hold this side. Alright? Hold your thumb like this. Makes it a lot easier. Okay. Basically, we're just doing this. From here. Here. Alright, he comes down a bit lower. That way, the whip off your foot. It's really fast. If he doesn't block this choke, I'm going to choke him with it. Okay, he has to try and block it. Doesn't watch his arm. I'm gonna take it. Okay. Yeah. 
from here. Right here. Lock it out. Lock it one side. <clears throat> Switch to the other side. Once you got it, we're gonna do something. And it's like this at first. Do that way. Layer on. We're going under. Okay, first one. I can sit like this, guys. It's a lot easier like this. Boom. He's blocking it, pulling the weight, whatever. Switch sides. Roll your hands around. Okay? All I gotta do is practice the drill just like this. Lock in. Boom. Thank <laughs> you. 